Okay. We are singing, so if you want to move up a little bit, a little closer. Not a, a whole lot of us here. So I know, I think you'll enjoy the singing if you move up a little bit. Oh, this makes things better. Um, I don't think I had anybody new to add to, to our list. Uh, keep Colby uh, in, in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, Lily, as she goes to the doctor, uh, hopefully those bones are in line in her arm. Uh, I think one's in her elbow, so that's kind of tedious there, I think. But uh, anyway, um, and uh, David Reese and Tim Poole, keep them in your prayers. So hopefully they can figure out what this lung problem is. Yes. Okay. Bobby Dawes, right? Yeah. Bobby's well, been on dialysis. Uh, yeah, and, and the count to the numbers have been better. So hopefully, and the surgery going to be this week. Okay. So thank you. I, I heard part of that, but I didn't hear the rest of it. Okay. Uh, we need a wheelchair. Uh, we got somebody that needs a wheelchair. If you happen to have one at home that you're not using, uh, we're, we're, I thought we might have one out here. And they're, they're always coming and going, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. So, uh, but we do need one right now. If you have one or know somebody that has one, uh, I don't think there's one out in the barn. Uh, I couldn't find anything, at least when I looked. Do, 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 do. Uh, remember the young adult dinner after a while at 5, Thursday night movie, uh, the leadership, Friday night and Saturday, uh, primarily as mentioned, Matthew mentioned for elders and deacons, uh, uh, lunch next Sunday, and then our giveaway day will be here before we know it, so please keep that in mind. Uh, who's in charge of the singing? Anybody? Okay, Jack's the head and John's the tail. Okay, uh, <laughs> John has the prayer, uh, John Scarlett has the Lord's Supper, and Tom Sneed has the dismissal. feels so weird starting at the first stop. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and stand for our first song. It's going to be number 34. <laughs> We're going to sing both verses of 34. <laughs> you are beautiful beyond
Before our prayer, let's go ahead and sing number 116. We'll, we'll sing the both verses 116, and we'll have our prayer. Everyone. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we thank you for giving us this time where we can come together to be able to join our voices together and sing these songs of praise and worship to your name. We ask that you would to you to help us all reflect on the words that we're singing. Help us think of the words of these songs and the meanings that are contained within. Help them to help us to be reminded of your word through these songs. Help us to always be patterning our lives after you and your will for us so that we can be strong examples in the world. Let our lights shine uh, before men so that others will see you by looking at us. Help us to be those examples that the world needs to see, to help others want to know more about you. Help us to always be spreading your word to others. We ask that as we continue through this service, you would just be with each and every person here. Uh, we ask you to continue to be with all those who weren't able to be here because they're sick, those who are going through different treatments and just other things on our prayer list. Just help all of these people and all those who are taking care of them. We ask you to especially be with all those who were affected by the recent storms and the recent flooding. Just please be with each of uh, those people, those families, and all those first responders and others who are helping uh, the recovery efforts. Just please be with all of those people. Just uh, give them comfort in this very difficult time. We ask that you would please watch over and guide this congregation. Help us to always be doing your will. In your son's name we pray. Amen. You're not going to sing? No. Okay.
425. <clears throat> we'll sing first, second, and last verse of 425. My faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary. Four forty nine. Four forty nine. We'll stick. We'll stay with first, second, and last. First, second, last verse. <clears throat>
515. 515. I am a sheep and the Lord is my shepherd. All the children my soul. My soul to keep guarding over me ever. Watching wherever I go. And when the winds blow, he is my Three ninety two. Let's stand and sing this one. Three ninety two. First and last.
248. Then after that, we'll go to 249. Make it easy on the guys up top there. Jack, it's an honor to get the first song. <laughs> and it does my heart good to see these young men being trained to lead singing. It was an opportunity I never had at an early age over in the valley. So I'm proud of these young men. I can remember the first time I ever led a song. Brother Jim McFaust, uh, out at Bible camp, he said, any of you young Christian men ever thought about leading a song? Raise your hand. <laughs> Get up here if your hand's up. <laughs> and I think it was amazing grace that he had us leading. There about 14 of us across the front. So that was my first opportunity, and I love seeing these young men. 248, all three verses. Wonderful, merciful Savior. Maybe I'll get this in just a little bit lower for me at least. Jesus, you
614, please. All five verses. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord.
Give your Bible, go ahead and turn over to Psalm 23. One of my favorite uh, songs is one that we uh, sang just a little bit ago, the uh, uh, I am a sheep and the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, it's one of my favorites because it's, uh, it's an illustration that you see so often throughout the Bible. Uh, the concept of God being a good shepherd who guides his sheep where they need to go and uh, provides for them. And we as the sheep have an obligation to follow uh, God as a good shepherd. You, you see it in uh, the Psalms. You see it in the Gospels. You see it in, uh, uh, in the writings of Peter. It's all throughout the Bible, this, this illustration. Um, let's read real briefly Psalm 23. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And you prepare a table before me in the presence of all my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, when you read through that, uh, you know, it's striking just how well David's able to fully express his constant trust in God. Uh, life has all sorts of ups and downs, uh, but as sheep who have a good shepherd, we can trust that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that he's got us taken care of. He'll provide for us the things that we need when we need them. Uh, and that's not always talking about physical, material things, but rather spiritual things. Uh, God is the provider of all good things. God is the one who provides us security in hard times. God is the one who's over and abundantly given us uh, a place with Him. And that's a, a humbling and, and honoring thought. And as sheep, we have the responsibility to go where He leads. That's not always easy. Uh, sometimes we uh, like to try and storm our own paths and make our own ways, but uh, our place is together with, with God. Uh, maybe today you've not always uh, been with God as you ought. You've tried to go off on your own path. you tried to make your own way. Let me encourage you to make that right. Uh, return to God and uh, He will welcome you back. Uh, maybe you need to put Christ on in baptism and become a child of God and become a member of the fold. Uh, let me encourage you to make that decision as well. If we can do anything for you, come as we stand and sing.
please be seated. To help prepare our minds for partaking of the Lord's Supper, we're going to uh, sing number 339. Uh, We're going to sing all the verses first, and then we'll sing through the refrain once. Love. Let's go to God in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son who died on the cross and the body that he sacrificed. Lord, we pray that you will uh, be with us this week and, and uh, keep, help us keep in mind the sacrifice that your Son made for us. We pray, Lord, that we take the Lord's uh, Supper here with a proper heart. And uh, Lord, we just thank you so much for everything you've done for us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let's continue in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we just are so grateful for the blood that was shed as well uh, from your son. Lord, it, it was such a horrible thing to go through, and uh, we hope, Lord, that uh, we make ourselves worthy of, of his death, which we know we can't, but at the same time, we try, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for uh, his sacrifice that brings us to heaven. That's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Closing song will be number 141, Words and Music, 141. Uh, Feel free to stand if it's convenient. You are the words and the music. You are the song that I sing. You are the melody. You are the harmony. Praise to your name. Let's pray. <clears throat> My Father in heaven, thank you for this Lord's Day and <clears throat> for all the good blessings that you blessed us with. And thank you, Father, for this opportunity we've had today to come here to worship you, to sing these songs of praise to you, and to hear another lesson from thy word. We're thankful, Father, most of all, for the privilege that we've had to meet around the Lord's table 
to remember the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, so very much for Jesus, for the perfect and sinless life that he lived upon this earth, and for that great sacrifice and pain and suffering and the shedding of his blood on the cross so we might have forgiveness of our sins and hope of heaven someday. Just pray, Father, that, that you will forgive us of all of our sins and just help us to always strive to do better. Father, I pray for the sick. Uh, we pray for the sick, our number here, the ones that's been mentioned in the announcements. I pray that you'll be with them, and if it be thy will, restore them back to their good health. I thank you, Father, for the church, especially thankful for the church here at Dayton, I thank you for the elders and the deacons, and I thank you for my church family. Thank you for Matthew and for the good work that he does in teaching and preaching the gospel. Father, I just pray that, that, that you would be with us as we go through this next week, that you would please keep us safe, help us to always do those things that's right and good, help us to always put you first in everything we say and do. I just pray that you'll help us to always live our lives in such a way that someday that we can have a home with you in heaven. We thank you, Father, for loving us and blessing us. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. Help us to always keep Jesus in our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.